Hey guys, you're on the host, or Kayla if you prefer. So, I've never done one of these videos before, but this is an artist callout video. As a graphic designer, I've touched upon this here and there on my channel and even in my art rant. There are things that you do and there are things that you don't do. I've interned on a newspaper, I've held down a graphic design job for a while, and I also have experience with customer service. And anyone who has bought um, commissions from me, whether it be avatars, channel backgrounds, what have you, they know full well how I work. I usually don't charge until after the piece is done because stuff gets in the way to where I'm not able to sit down and work on the commission. So I don't charge by the hour and I don't charge freakishly large amounts. So I haggle, I have a job in real life, so I do the commissions thing on the side. However, there are standards and ethics to when it comes to dealing with customers, whether they are purchasing your artwork from online, face to face. And recently I came across a situation that rather upset me and it has happened to one of my followers on Twitter. I follow them back. I'm going to nickname them the squirrel. As you can see their full name, the ass eating squirrel. Anyway, so Squirrel had tweeted out something the other day and he was kind of venting about what happened to him. And I have the tweet pulled up right now. So give me one second. Okay, so he puts this out the other day. This is why I don't trust you uppity graphic design people charging $100 for some MS paint drawings. So this is the $100 that he got charged for. And not everything about it is bad. The concept, the concept is nice. I like the concept. The execution is deplorable. I wouldn't even pay $20 for this crap. Um, so he continues to vent about it and he um, shows a bit of the DMs. Bro, I need a refund. This shit is unusable and I know you wouldn't dare put it in your portfolio. I'm willing to attempt it one more time. All right, but if some trash, I'm still want a refund. And then he tells him there are no refunds. And we'll, we'll get to that here in a minute because this person, this graphic design artist, made Squirrel pay through a specific grant paper to where you cannot get a refund. And I'll show you that in a minute. Now, let's go back over to the art piece, because he brings in another artist to, quote unquote, make the piece better. This, and this is 10 times worse than the first piece. This is like somebody threw a bunch of watercolor all over it, and he's still supposed to pay $100 for this. And this is the graphic designer. He goes by OG Designs. Now let's click over to the screenshots I have or the conversation. As I said, this graphic designer made Squirrel pay a specific way that not only avoids taxes because OG Designs is a legitimate graphic design business, this artist, um, advertises himself as a graphic design business for the public. So not only does he make scroll pay in a way that avoids taxes, but to where he can never get his refund. So let's look at the conversation. And Squirrel gives him a style reference. Um, I, for that, I can do $100. I'll do that cash app or PayPal. PayPal sounds good. My PayPal is his Gmail. Since we are breaking up payments, send it via family and friends so it doesn't take out money twice. Now, if anyone who has used PayPal to either give money to people to pay for things online, eBay, people have used PayPal to pay me, um, you'll notice that when you get the money in your PayPal account, they take out a small percentage, it's like 1.5. It depends on the state you live in. Um, I don't remember what it is specifically for Illinois, but they do take out a small percent. So as you can see in the text messages right here, OJ, or excuse me, OG, is telling Squirrel, pay this way so it does not take out taxes, therefore avoiding tax. So he goes, what do you mean take out money twice? Every time you send me via PayPal, they take out a percent unless you send via family and friends. Send money via PayPal 
that way. And this way you cannot get a refund because this does not qualify as a purchase. So to make matters worse, because I went through and I started to dig through this artist a little bit last night to, just to see how his work looked in comparison to the garbage that he tried to sell Squirrel and is still trying to sell Squirrel. So I went through and I found a couple of things and I'll show you three examples of what I'm talking about. What this guy does is he will take already made logos, say for example, this is what I found last night, the B&W logo, and try to remake it as his own by changing a letter or two letters and then adding other circles around it. And he has this pattern to where he takes artwork, already made artwork or already made logo design pieces, slaps things on there and tries to sell them as his own. Like I said, I have three examples. Let's go to the first one. So this first one. The snazzy looking Peyton. Uh, NBA player, from what I shine, from what I looked up, you can see the details are nice. You can see the rings, the shine in the rings, the details. It looks amazing. But I got curious, so I Google searched it and it got attached to this article. Uh, this article is NBA called Lord of the Rings. And if you scroll up, there's an artist mentioned Paco Pablos. This is not OG's work. This is a painting he stole off the internet and as you can see slap purple here, slap gold there and put his name right down the side advertising that his his. So like I said this artist falsely advertises what he can do by using other people's work. Example two. Let's go to example two. Okay, so let's go to this one. This one looks intense, or looks like you got the splattering, you got it looks like they're distressed, you got the purple nicely adding a hue, um, you got the fonts. Looks awesome, right? Looks awesome. Google image that. Look at this. It's another painting. And who's it by? Mario Sanchez Nevado. Again, not OG's work. Stolen painting. Let's go to the third one. And this one, I can't tell if this is a stock photo, but I've seen this mansion just from the results pop up in many Google image results. You have a mansion with a crow on top of it, and around that you kind of have this red stroke, kind of blurred, fuzzed out a little bit. Um, Opacity is taken down, so it's not as bright. You hit Google Images. And you can see it right away that this mansion is used in an oriental, I want to say a movie poster, and you see it throughout the images. So this one, this third one, I'm not particularly sure if the image is specifically copyrighted, because here it is again, but just going by the first two examples, he takes pieces that are already done and tries to put them off as his own designs. So this guy charges a huge amount because I was digging through his Twitter. He has two Twitters um, and then he has his business, which I was referencing the images for. Um, but he'll go through and he will take two stock image photos, whatever they be, or already art pieces made, and he will try to add font or whatever and claim them as own. As you can see, it's... Benjamin Franklin over Snowflake. I mean, this 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 crap is lazy. All that takes is freaking clipping. This really is. This guy is a fraud, is a cheat, and steals other people's artwork. So this is a call-out video. I don't know how many other images this guy has stolen. Like, for example, this. I know I have seen this logo somewhere, and I know it's a basketball team. I almost want to say the global trottles um don't quite remember but as you can see purple and gold this is a well-known logo that just had a re a new name slapped over it, and he's trying to pass it off as his own my friend got ripped off fifty dollars because not only did this guy make him take a route that has the um, business avoid taxes which is family friends because this is a transaction this is a consumable transaction to where a squirrel is buying art from OG so he's avoiding taxes on this purchase and then he's not even gonna give a refund that he so clearly ripped squirrel off so like I said I'm gonna post this guy's Twitter and his business 
In the description below, I'm also going to tweet this out at PayPal because this is completely wrong. As I said, I have worked in a graphic design job before. I have worked as an intern as a graphic design uh, before. I've had my work published in newspapers. I have experience in customer service. This is not okay to do. This is total and utter garbage. OG, you need to give him back his money. And I'm going to raise a stink about this because you don't do this to people. And if there's a way if I can alert the artist, I'm going to because this is total and utter crap. I'm going to post the links in the description below so you guys can see for yourself um, the artwork that's posted on his page in comparison to where he got it from and where he stole it from. So if you guys know how to get a hold of these artists, please alert them that their work is being stolen and used for purposes that are not their own. Anyway, like I said, this is the first time I've ever done this video, came across this situation, dug further into this graphic design artist, and found out he was a fraud and a fake. So, this crap really ticks me off. And with that being said, this is your humble host. I will keep you updated to see if anything happens and if we can get Squirrel back his money. I know it's $50, then they, that may not be a lot to a lot of people, but that's a lot of money for me, and I'm sure that's a lot of money for Squirrel. So if anybody knows how to get a hold of these other artists, please let them know what is going on. Please tweet this at PayPal. Um, I dare say even Twitter, because he's falsely advertising on there as well. And with that, that is your humble host. Be aware of sketchy people, because there's so many out there. But yeah, like I said, have a good night, guys.